Whoops. Morning, guys. Welcome back to Fiji. Hope you're having a great time wherever you are right now. I know I'm about to have a great time. I'm about to go on an adventure. Go pick up my friend uh, John from the Wacker family. He's been on the channel a few times. If you haven't seen his stuff, links in the description below. I've loaded up this piece. I wish I was taking the cruiser, but I'm taking the, this bucket of crap. I'm actually at the point now where I'm too scared to wash this because I think the dirt is actually holding it together. But I'm going on a spear fishing mission with my mate. We're camping the night, got some fuel, got some supplies. So John and I have been planning to do something like this for ages, but we just haven't gotten around to it. I'm sure you guys know what it's like where, you know, things just don't align, you get busy, you just don't make it happen. But we've had a couple of things happen in the last few days in particular that have just made us realize that, man, if you just want to do stuff like this, you just got to do it. Life is short. You're not here for a long time. Anything can happen. Um, and, you know, no regrets, I guess. If you want to go do something, just plan it, do it, make it happen. So. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Oh, see what I mean? drive ahead of us. Now the first hour is on a pretty good sealed road uh, through the interior of the island up through the mountains. It's actually quite a quite a beautiful drive. I mean I'm not too worried about that. And then we're going to meet John and the boys and, and load up with some ice uh, but it's the second hour. The second hour is on a dirt road uh, which depending on when you get it could be could be an okay dirt road or it could be absolutely terrible and I'm a little bit worried about the old ranger girl not making it. So fingers crossed that the old girl holds it together and we get there in one piece. Hey! There you go. Up? You ready? Ready. Fight up. Let's go. Get some rain. So the beast made it, just. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Bula! Bula! <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Bula. I'm excited, man. <laughs> oh, good? Yep. You guys need some more gear. Yeah, right? N not enough. Yeah, a little Looks bit like more space in the back of there. Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that one night. <laughs> Pretty glassy conditions just in here. Unreal. Getting me toey. Ooh. Yeah, toey. Touchdown. Touchdown. Okay, so we have obviously arrived 
We've offloaded all the unnecessary stuff and taken some up to the house. Got the guns. We've got a couple of top water rods, some lures. Um, we chucked our esky back in for the fish. And then we're going to get out now while it's still tides nice and high. Get that runoff, some current pumping. Hopefully it's looking like the viz is looking amazing just in here in the shallow. So hoping out on the reef that we've got some, some really good viz and fingers crossed we can shoot some awesome fish and, and get some amazing footage. Sweet lip, different. Yeah, it's different from the spotted one. Yeah. It looked like a uh, a red emperor at yeah. the bottom. Say going by that, 
It was a success. <laughs> Great success. Great success. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> so these were probably my two fish of the day. Nice Mackie and an awesome grouper. Uh, hopefully the footage came out of this guy. I shot him like straight down the face, like skewered him pretty much. But uh, yeah, hopefully the dive came out good on that. I was actually diving for a coral trout that I saw under this ledge and then this guy was just eyeballing me face on. So I ended up taking him, it's pretty awesome. But we had a pretty successful day. If you look down with the rest that we got, a couple of these grouper, a few unicorn and surgeons. Plenty of Mackies. Lots of Mackies. Few Trevally, uh, Golden Trevally there, and then like an Island Trevally, and then this guy. I was That's just saying to John, this here, I swore it was like a uh, like a Red Emperor. Um, I reckon I shot him at maybe, what do you reckon, mate? 18 meters maybe? Yeah, you said it looked red. Yeah, 18, yeah. 18 to 20 meters, and obviously you lose red at depth, and this guy was like, Looked like he would have been red and white. Did you stone him? Yeah, complete stoning, straight th straight through the noggin. Um, but Beautiful. I couldn't believe it when I got him to the top, and then I was like, "Well, what is it then?" And uh, apparently, it's a sweet lip. And you so, can see that once you get up. Yeah, like you can when, tell that with the mouth. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we're gonna cook this guy on the fire tonight. Do a little catch and cook. So that's dinner. And what what else? A mackie, you think? Uh, yeah, one of the small mackies for for the wraps. Yeah. Yeah. Salad. Those are beasts, though. These guys. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, let's make some wraps. Sweet. Oh no. Uh, this is why I didn't want to do this because I'm getting judged by the freaking professional fishermen over here. What do you okay, what do you rate this out of uh, out of ten? Eleven. Seven? Eleven. Well done. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. Like, nice I, was, I was trying not to draw. I'm like, hey Mike, you, you wanna fill the fish or <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. So we had uh, sick day of diving, obviously. We ended up finishing up on a spot that was quite a deep uh, bommy uh, in a fair bit of current and not that good of visibility, but uh, my, dive, my dive on that last session was just started out a nightmare. I, I jumped in without my weight belt, for starters. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I thought, ah, oh, it's all right, I'll be, I should be all right. Man, I was bobbing like a cork. I was, felt like running a marathon the first two dives that I did. I couldn't get down at all. So called for the boat over, got my weight belt, finally got sorted. Uh, then the GoPro died. So you guys unfortunately don't have any of the footage from, from that last dive. Um, and then John dove down and he's like, oh my God, it's going off down there. He says, so much happening. And then within seconds, it felt like from that, a big school of Spanish Mac came in. Uh, John and I dove straight away. He shot a big barrel of the one. Yeah. Solid, um, and then I shot one, and then Alan uh, was facing the other way, and he heard the two guns go off. So then he turns around, like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> then he dives down, and he shoots one, and then uh, Alan and I were on the top, and John's was decent size, so he's still fighting his, and the flopper hadn't deployed on the other side of the fish; it was in the middle of the fish somewhere. But none of us could put a second shot in because we all had fish on. So. Yeah. I'm there looking for a say, hey, looking for a second shot, and like I look over, like everybody's got a fish. I'm like, all right, I'm on my own on this one. <laughs> so that's what we call high quality problems here. When uh, when you're looking for a second shot, but it's every true. gun has a fish on it. So, it's true. so amazing. Um, as I said, sorry to you guys that there's no footage from that dive, uh, but you guys saw the fish, obviously, that we uh, rocked up with at the end of the day. So. Once uh, Master Chef John over here finishes his uh, filleting or filleting for my American friends. Hey, in Canada, is it fillet or fillet? Uh, depends who you talk to. Okay. If you're in Montreal, yeah, fillet. Cool. Once he's wrapped up that, we'll start cooking. Sweet. All right, chuck on the fire. Nice. What do you got in there? This will be delicious. What's that sweet lip? Never had a sweet lip like this before. Didn't even know it was a sweet lip. Mm. But we're about to learn something new. Right. Let's go. Woohoo! It's a way to go. Right. There we go. No problem. Already starting to drool. 
<laughs> Already starting to fall. Oh, that's going to be good. Mm. All right, let's have a look. Oh, shit, that looks wicked. Oh, yeah, baby. We are good to go. Do you want to just sit this here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Ready? Yep. That looks delicious. Nice. Who's first? Alan? <laughs> go. Uh, bro, you go first. Take the leap. Here. <laughs> the lips are coming to bed with me tonight. <laughs> coming into my swag. Come on, John. You're up. I'm up, okay. The belly, the belly. <laughs> the belly. <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah. Secret, secret. Oh my gosh, so hot. Ooh, crunchy. Sweet eh? Sweet sweet lips. They don't call it sour lips, do they? <laughs> That's good. Sick. Campfire oh. taste? Campfire taste. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> yes. You hit it out of the park. Well, fresh maki or walu if you're Fijian in a salad wrap with some. Yeah. Homemade, secret sauce, <clears throat> doesn't get any better, ending in a wicked day with wicked food, with wicked company. So on that note, I'm gonna literally wrap up the video and uh, it's the end of day two and we'll see you tomorrow. Hola. Thank you, Mike. <sighs> Boys trip, no girls allowed. Hola. Yeah. <laughs>